What's up guys, Cavi here. I uh, just wanted to do a little video here and kind of show you I'm packing for a hike and I've, I've kind of got it pretty much where I want it. Um, I'm going to be hiking up to uh, Crip Lake which is in, in Waterton National Parks or for the Americans that's uh, Glacier National Park and uh, it's a really great hike. Uh, I recommend it to anyone. Uh, you get a couple waterfalls along the way, you take a ferry ride in couple waterfalls along the way and then there's a an excellent lake at the top there with some caves and you get to hike a cliff and and walk through a tunnel and whatnot so it's a very cool hike i'm going with my brother and my brother-in-law they haven't done the hike before um i have and so uh, i'm kind of taking them out there the weather is supposed to be uh thunderstorms um possible thunderstorms but it probably will be at some point so kind of trying to prepare for a little bit of everything here and uh, I just want to show you guys what I'm going to be taking. <clears throat> so first things first, uh, I want to talk about clothing. I'm going to be taking this uh, dry wear t-shirt. It's a great uh, moisture wicking t-shirt. It, it's kind of like the Under Armour Charge shirts. Uh, it's very similar, but uh, something new, a little bit more spandex feeling. Uh, and it's supposed to be antimicrobial and all that good stuff. So I'm going to try this one out. I haven't actually worn this one before, but I'm going to take this one with me. And then on top of that, I'm going to be be wearing my uh, McKinley long sleeve shirt. This one's pretty thin, and uh, I've had it for quite some time, and it looks good wrinkled, and uh, you can roll up the sleeves, put them down when the bugs are out or the sun's out, collar up or down. It's, it's great to have something like that around. Uh, next, I'm going to be probably wearing these shorts here. These are the uh, Tad Gear Force 10 AC cargo shorts. They're really lightweight. Uh, they dry quick so I'm pretty excited for those and then also I'm going to be wearing my uh, merino wool socks and um, the shoes I'm going to be taking I don't have them in the shot here but they are the Merrill Moab uh, Gore-Tex version um, I really like them if the weather is too cold like it might be I'll probably throw on these are my Force 10 um, RS cargos. These are the rip stop. They're much heavier, but they they bead water pretty well. Um, I've taken these, uh, you know, when I go out and take photos and stuff, and the grass and the wet um, kind of just beads off these really nicely. So uh, even in the rain, I might be able to take these pants and still do all right. The only thing is they're pretty heavy, so once they get soaked, I could imagine them getting even more heavy and and kind of a bit of a nuisance, but. <clears throat> so my EDC, this is an old pair of glasses, uh, polarized Arnett's. Their polarized sunglasses are excellent to have if you're taking pictures. Uh, Paramilitary 2, that'll be my EDC. My hydration bladder, which is not in there, is this Platypus 3 liter uh, Big Zip. These are awesome. I'll probably do a separate review on this at some point because this is a great hydration system. Got this excellent big bite valve um, hose uh, really like this system uh, depending on how cold it is I may take the jet boil and swap out my food a little bit for something that I can do a hot meal because if you're doing a long hike and it's it's uh, cold and you're getting wet a hot meal does a lot to boost morale and get some energy back in you this is super beat up pretty old hat it's my uh, outdoor research I believe this one's called the radar or the radiator or something like that. But this hat's awesome because you can fold it and like basically put it in a pocket. It's also got a loop on the inside here so I can just attach it to a carabiner and put it on my pack and let it dry. If it gets wet but it breathes really nicely. You get all this mesh on the side here. Really nice hat. So the pack, well before we get to the pack, I'm just going to show you guys how I do my, my trekking poles. I don't normally leave them extended here, I was just kind of playing with the lengths. I haven't actually taken these on a hike, these are new for me. Uh, we're trying them out, but one thing I did is I kept the clips that hold them together uh, from the packaging. And uh, I just went and put some paracord through there. I'm just going to switch the focusing. Uh, I put some paracord through there just to 
kind of lash them together. So I got one on each end, and then the top end here has got this night eyes clip. So I can just put them in there, clip it on, it works really well. Uh, so these are the Lecky, the uh, Lecky Anti Shock. My, it just wants to focus on the pack. Well, let's focus on the pack then, since that's where we're going. Uh, so this one here is the Tad Gear uh, Fast Pack Light Speed. It's got this beaver tail. You can put your bag or put your uh, some of your loose gear in this spot here. And I will be leaving this on for the hike because it's great to be able to, once you've had to put your jacket on or something on, you can throw it in there and put it back up. And that lets it dry. So if your jacket is now wet, it kind of still keeps it out of your pack, but kind of lets it hang out a bit. You can dry it off that way, which is very convenient. Uh, so we'll just pop this down a little bit more. And also, I usually carry my poles on the inside of here, and I use these two little Grimlocks to attach to the hand straps. So the handles themselves will actually thread right through this opening here, and it, it sits really nice and secure. <clears throat> inside, I'm not gonna take everything out of here, guys. We'll just take a quick peek. I've got uh, a spork, I've got a lighter, some chapstick, a little knot guide there. I've got the um, Exotac Fire Striker starter thing there. I've got some uh, blister kit down here, this little green thing's blister kit. And then I've thrown in my little Nightcore MT1C flashlight. We're going to take that out though because look how bright that sucker is. You can even see the TAD logo starting to glow from how bright. This, this little flashlight is so great. Uh, I'll probably take a second battery, but it does like the SOS, the strobe modes, stuff like that. So inside the very top pouch here, I've got some of the uh, Muscle Insect Repellent Lotion. I find the lotion uh, stays on much longer than the spray. I've got some, just some little Night Eyes cord, reflective cord. And then I've got some uh, allergy meds in there as well. And this is tricky to one, one-handed. Um, in the lower pack here, I've just got a small um, emergency um, poncho. I've actually got two of those. And then in here, I've just got a first aid kit. This has got everything in it. Gloves, um, you know, polysporum, band-aids, pills, antiseptic wipes, whatnot, got it all. In here I've got a second t-shirt and a pair of socks. This is a dry bag, um, and I'm not going to take them out because I've already compressed this down and it's much easier to just leave it like that. Um, a little multi-wrap. These things are excellent. If you don't have one, I highly recommend picking one up. Um, you can use this as a headband, you can use it as a face uh, mask or a neck warmer. The area that I'm going at a certain point, you hike up a, a rock face on a cliff and um, the rocks and the dirt, they start blowing. So having this just put over your face and block the dirt and the dust from getting in your mouth is excellent. Plus it's really lightweight and super soft and moisture wicking as well. You can wet it and it will keep you cool if you wear it on your head. Next thing we've got here is my platypus uh, water filter system. Is excellent. I can put this right into my hydration tube and filter water right into my pack without having to take my bladder out. Uh, it's also got all sorts of attachments for bottles, whatnot, you name it. Works. Uh, my food pack here, I've got some Uncle Ben's Bistro Express rice. I've got some Cliff Bars and I've got to be rocking the uh, fruit by the foot. So that's my little food bag. Uh, this here is my Heli Hansen um, Vancouver jacket. It's pretty much waterproof. I haven't ever had it go through, but it's uh, nice and breathable, and waterproof, and it's big enough that I can wear things under it. Um, I normally just wear a large, but with the Heli Hansen stuff, I had to get the extra large because I can't um, move my shoulders and forearms because they fit really tight, especially in the arms. So be aware of that if you are looking at the Heli Hansen gear. I love it, but typically it's really slim fitting. So if you've got, you know, big forearms or whatnot, uh, it's it's not the easiest thing to fit into. Um, this is where my hydration bladder will go, but I just don't have it in there because I don't want to put it in until I'm fully packed. 
little emergency blanket here with some uh, a card with some Gorilla tape wrapped up inside and a little reflective thing. I just drill a hole through the plastic card and put the reflective piece on it. That way if you drop it in the middle of the dark or whatever, you can still find it. Uh, this is the SE. Uh, SE4. It's a great knife. Love this knife. Barely shows anywhere. It's been a, a very good knife for me. And in the very bottom here, I've got probably 50 feet of paracord. Uh, in fact, I'm almost positive it's like 50 feet. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I've got this little Maxpedition padded pouch. And I can't remember, it might just be called the Maxpedition padded pouch. I love it though. It's obviously very padded. And so what goes inside of here? I've got some food. I've got some uh, pineapple for some quick energy. A little cliff bar. And then the camera that I'm using um, also goes in there. I've also got a second poncho right there so I have access to it from the outside. Um, on the other side of my pack I do have a bison climbing carabiner. Uh, one thing that's interesting about this hike is on the rock face itself there's a steel cable bolted into the rock face that you can use to hold on to while you traverse it. Um, it's, it's just a short little spot there but it's right before and after you hike through this cave so it's a pretty neat little hike and this is all the gear that I now have to pack back into my pack. Um, and again, some of this stuff is going to be subject to change. I'll probably do a video while we're out there, show you guys what I brought, show you some views, and hopefully you can uh, get a little experience to uh, Crip Lake. So we'll catch you guys later. It's Cabby.